What's up YouTube? Joseph here again. Same billiard. Same tobacco. I came on because I just said that. I just tried to tell your story. On how I started smoking pipes. Sorry for the movement. I was, uh, I was actually 18, but I didn't start off with the pipe, I started off with the hookah. I started with hookah for a couple of years, from 18 to like 19 years old, I was on hookah. Then I went to the electric cigarettes, like the, the vaporizers. So I'll start with that. Then when I turned uh, 20, I started with the uh, Switch Sweets for a while. Switch Sweets, Prime Time, Black and Miles, stuff like that. And uh, I didn't really get into the pipes until later, later. I was 20 years old when I discovered uh, Dagner Pipes. Jason Dagner, his father Jay Dagner. I saw a guy stone upon them. And I uh, saw him smoking pipes. So I think, oh cool, you know. I didn't think they sold pipes anymore. I thought they were gone because pipes were been around since my great grandpa used to smoke them. So I figured, well, cool, you know, I want to get into the hobby. Fast forward three months later, I stumbled upon cigar possession. I see him smoking a cigar, and I see him giving cigars, you know, high props about them, about their flavor, about their wrappers, about their binders, about everything you can think on their fillers. And I figured, oh, damn, you know, a pipe, a cigar sounds good, too. So I looked up right away how to smoke a cigar. Oops. Sorry. I looked up right away how to smoke a cigar and how to smoke a pipe. Well, uh, same people came up. Uh, Jason Dagnum came up with his uh, main page, uh, Dagnum Performance. That came up with uh, how to smoke a pipe. And with a cigar obsession, his channel came up too with how to smoke a cigar. So I watched that for a little bit, then uh, when I was 21, I got my first pipe for my birthday. It was a Missouri Meerschaum. Which I no longer have, cause for some reason it clogged up on me when I was smoking. And uh, I looked up videos and looked up how to clean it, how to fix it. And they all said toss it. No good no more, just toss it. That's what I did. So, fast forward, my 21st birthday, like six months later, I received a cigar from my uh, uncle, my other uncle, my uh, deal, if you will. And he gave me a Maca Noodle uh, Cafe Cream. So I smoked that, and I instantly fell in love with cigars. I instantly wanted more. I instantly wanted to taste more cigars and try more quality cigars. So I smoked that. I smoked a Gurkha. I smoked a Drew State. I smoked an Asses Blondie. I smoked maybe now about 20 cigars. 50, not 50, but 20, 30 cigars. And I'm still learning different cigars, bands, and shapes, and sizes. I'm still learning all that, but eventually I'll get the hang of it and I'll get everything down.
Yeah, but a pipe and a cigar, you know, that's pretty damn good stuff, you know. It's old, you know, it's classic, you know, relaxing. You could smoke at a bar or a hookah lounge, you know, not hookah lounge, but a cigar lounge. Kick back your base of a cold beer. So I like it. And uh, that's my smoking story, how I got into the uh, pipes and cigars. I will be smoking a cigar probably next month. Go buy a few, a couple of Gurkhas, a couple of Drew Estates. No, no, it depends on how I feel. I'm trying to save money to get a tattoo done, so. Mostly. But, uh, yeah. That's my story. I was smoking pipes and cigars, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys on the next one where I might be smoking. I can't tell you the name of this pipe my dad gave it to me as a birthday gift. And, uh, you guys will see it. And let me know the name of it in the comments below if you guys know the name of it. If not, don't even worry about it. But until then, smoke on my friends. God bless and take care.